This is Glenn Campbell coming to you from Miami Beach with my first ever video philosophy essay. Today's topic, the law of diminishing returns. If someone were to give you one million dollars, you'd be very happy, right? If someone were to give you ten million dollars, would you be ten times happier? No. Human needs don't work like that. If you're struggling to get by, if you're working hard to make ends meet, then that first million dollars is going to mean a lot to you. The second million? It won't really do that much more for you. And the tenth million? It just doesn't make a difference at that point. Money does not have this constant value. It, it, it varies according to your needs. So if you need a lot of money, then money is a big thing. If your needs for money have been met, then money is not important. It's not as valuable to the rich man as it is to the poor man. Here's another example. Vitamin C. The body has certain nutritional needs. One of them is vitamin C. If you don't have enough vitamin C, you get a very nasty disease called scurvy, which sailors used to get on long voyages. Uh, it can be fatal. To address scurvy, you need to uh, uh, get a certain amount of vitamin C. You eat some fresh fruits, you take a vitamin tablet, and the scurvy is solved. There's a huge difference between not having enough vitamin C and having enough vitamin C. That doesn't mean that if you take huge doses of vitamin C, you're going to get the same benefit because once that need is met, more vitamin C doesn't improve your health all that much. If it does, it's not proportional to the amount of vitamin C you took. This applies to every human need. There's a certain amount you need, but if you go beyond that amount, if you overfill that need, you don't necessarily get the same benefit as you got from the beginning. The first five dollars you ever earned in your life was worth a lot. The first full-time job you ever got where you were getting a few hundred each week, that meant a lot doesn't mean that when you double your income, you're going to get double the pleasure. That's not how things work. Picture a graph. Uh, on one axis of the graph, you have the amount of resources you take in. On the other axis of the graph, you have uh, your happiness or how comfortable you are in life. If you have, don't have enough money and you add a little bit of money, it greatly improves your happiness, almost in a straight line level. The more money you get, the happier you are because you have fewer worries. At a certain point, however, your needs are met. Your needs for money, your needs for vitamin C are met, and then you get a diminishing return. For each new resource that you add, you get even less out of it. That's called the law of diminishing returns. The more resources you add, the less bang you get for your buck from each of those new resources. A million dollars is a lot of money. Ten million dollars is not much more than that, at least in terms of your happiness. Instead of a straight line relationship between resources and happiness, you have a curve, a logarithmic curve, one that diminishes over time. This is what people don't understand when they're planning their lives. If they take a big bite of chocolate cake and they think, my God, this is incredibly good chocolate cake, they think, well, the more chocolate cake I eat, the happier I'll be. Well, that's not true of chocolate cake or anything else. Chocolate cake, you take one bite, great. The second bite, it's good. The third bite, it's okay. By the fourth and fifth bite of chocolate cake, well, you can take it or leave it. You don't want to set yourself up so you're having chocolate cake every single day or you're going to lose your taste for chocolate cake. Chocolate cake is solving some sort of need inside you, just like everything else, just like money, like vitamin C. We have a need for love, but you get too much love and you're smothered. You know, every need has its satiation point, at which time the returns from additional resources do not compensate for the additional resources. If you've got a million dollars, if you've got enough money to keep yourself reasonably comfortable for the rest of your life, Getting more money doesn't make you more happy. In fact, it could be the opposite. It could be the point where you're getting so much money, you don't know what to do with it. And when people do that, they make stupid mistakes. They commit themselves to bigger things. 
when people win the lottery and win a hundred million dollars, what happens to them? Well, they make a lot of foolish decisions. They buy mansions, they buy cars, they may buy things that require a lot of maintenance that involve a lot of obligation. So actually, they'd be better off if they had just won one million dollars because they would have spent it more wisely. You take enough vitamin C to keep you alive, good. If you take a thousand times much, as much vitamin C as you need, you might end up poisoning yourself. Every need works like this, but the unfortunate thing about humans is they can only see the straight line. They can only see when I take this bite of chocolate cake, oh, I'm going to be happy as long as I have chocolate cake all, all my life. Or you go to a beautiful mountain retreat and you think, look at these mountains. I wish I could surround myself with these mountains every day. Well, then you go and you surround yourself with the mountains every day and you don't look at them again. It doesn't matter to you anymore. People make their plans according to a straight line, according to the, the thing that they're feeling right now. And they figure, if I just project this out in a straight line into the future, I'll be happy. Well, happiness doesn't work that way. Happiness is logarithmic. It goes on a curve. Once you've solved one need, your need for money, your need for vitamin C, believe me, other needs will come along, other needs that you never thought of. And if you've committed yourself to a straight line path of solving that first need, you're not ready for the next need that comes along. People, a lot of people have plenty of money. There's a lot of people in this world who have all the money they need and they're not worried about money. But that doesn't mean they're not without worries because once that need is solved, once that worry is solved, other worries will flow in to take the, its place. And that's good. It means you're pushing yourself. Each time you've solved a need, happiness requires that you put yourself on, off to the next need. All I'm saying is, when you're making your plans, never assume the straight line. Never assume that the thing that makes you happy now will always make you happy because it won't. Things will change. That straight line will flatten out to a, to a straight bar across and you can have all the money in the world, you can take all the vitamin C, you can have all the love, you can have all the things that you wanted and you're still not happy because there are other needs that you need to address. Don't think about the straight line. I want you to think about every need being a curve, every need reaching its satiation point, at which point gaining that additional resources does not help you. That's what I want to say.